And for the first time, brothers and sisters, in more than 600 years, for the first time, the Islamic revival is everywhere. In the past, you could see some revival in Libya maybe, and then it dies, or Sudan, and then dies, or Bangladesh, or dies, and so on. But for the first time in 600 years, wherever you go in the Islamic world and non-Islamic world, you see Muslims coming back to their deen. You see young men and women committed to Islam. When this happens, brothers and sisters, then we know that we are turning the tide back. I see it as much as I see you. Brothers and sisters, most people are concerned with events, September 11, Janine, whatever. They don't see the big picture. Very few people see the big picture. You need to understand history and the movement of civilizations to see the big picture. Islam rose to power quickly continued to rise for about 800 years then declined for about 600 years to the bottom and the bottom was 1948 and then 1967 when we lost to the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Jews and they took over our heart Palestine the heart of Islam, Palestine was taken. This revival, if you study history, you will see it. The strongest tide came after 1967. Before 1967, there was a lot of Arab nationalism going on in the Muslim land. Turkish nationalism, etc. After 67, we woke up. And we started. For the first time, Muslims have Muslim organizations in politics, in economics, Muslim banks, Muslim media, Muslim newspapers, Muslim satellites, etc. Every area, Muslim women organization, children organization. You see this all over. This is the tide coming up. Where do we move from here? What is the future of Islam? I end by a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Great hadith. As if he is describing to us the path of history. Yaqulu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This hadith is narrated by Imam Ahmed and many others. This hadith is a correct hadith. You find it in Al-Albani, Sahih and others. So have no doubt about it. يقول صلى الله عليه وسلم تكون النبوة فيكم ما شاء الله لها أن تكون Prophethood shall last among you as long as Allah سبحانه وتعالى wishes ثم يرفعها الله إذا شاء أن يرفعها then Allah will take it out when he wishes he will raise it away from you when he wishes. Al Prophethood lasted 23 years. ثم تكون خلافة على منهاج النبوة. Then shall come a خلافة, leadership, on the path of Prophethood. True Islam. فتكون فيكم ما شاء الله لها أن تكون ثم يرفعها الله إذا شاء أن يرفعها Then Allah shall raise it when he wishes The خلافة took 30 years And it was taken away What comes after that? O Prophet of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم ثم يكون ملكا عاضا 
عاب ما ي... ما يترك بسهوله there shall after that come biting kingdoms biting kingdoms as translated from arabic means kingdoms that will last for long periods and we saw that the umayyads 130 years the abbasis 400 years and so on mamluki fatimi uthmani 600 years you see long periods mulk ad فَيَكُونُ فِيكُمْ مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ لَهُ أَنْ يَكُونَ It will last among you as long as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes. ثُمَّ يَرْفَعُهُ اللَّهُ إِذَا شَانْ يَرْفَعَهُ And it is almost gone from the Muslim land. No long period kingdoms. No more. What is after that the Prophet of Allah? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is describing to us the future. And part of it is the future of Islam. ثُمَّ يَكُونُ مُلْكًا جَبْرِيًّا الجبر القوة ملك بالقوة There shall come after that military Kingdoms, Mulkan Jabriyan, military kingdoms, Jabr, Quwa, military. How many of the Muslim countries are not led by militaries? Look, watch around you. How many are not led by military? Rare, very rare. The Prophet ﷺ is telling the truth. We see it. This is a hadith 1400 years ago. And we see it. How long will this last? Will it last forever? No, it will not last forever. There's something coming after that. يقول صلى الله عليه وسلم فيكون فيكم هذا الملك الجبري فيكون فيكم ما شاء الله له أن يكون. This military kingdoms, these military kingdoms will last among you as long as Allah wishes. ثم يرفعه الله إذا شاء يرفعه. And then Allah shall take it away when He wishes. What is after this? What do we expect? See, if I gave you my speculations, my interpretation, my expectations, you might doubt it. But I'm not speaking my words now. I'm speaking the words of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ I'm not speaking my words. These are the words of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who does not speak in vain. He speaks in revelation. What is after al-mulk al-jabri? This military kingdoms. يقول صلى الله عليه وسلم ثم تكون خلافة على منهاج النبوة. There shall come after that. A khilafa similar to Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali. A khilafa, he described that, khilafa ala minhaj al and he describes this one, khilafa ala minhaj al A khilafa according to the path of the prophets. Thumma sakata sallallahu And then he kept quiet. We don't know what's after that. But we know that after this, brothers and sisters, have no doubt, Islam is coming.